Hello, it's uh, Michael from Masson's Healthcare, uh, and today we're going to be looking at a, um, a foot with a Charcot deformity uh, and the different tools that um, we can use within Voxel Care to uh, accommodate that foot um, and, uh, and protect it as well. Alrighty, so we'll start with, um, I guess, uh, the most obvious thing, which is supporting that um, collapse. Um, once we've done our basic 3D alignment, so the forefoot um, is centered, the heel is centered, and and, uh, and down the sort of the bottom uh, trim lines just a little bit green. Um, we can start moving um, on to I guess uh, changing these trim line borders. So to do that, we'll move on to brand sole, which is the same as trim lines. And, uh, we will go to stretch if we need to. Um, this foot isn't too bad. It's, it's fairly well accommodated within the, the standard um, wide trim line. Um, but if you do need to, you can obviously change the forefoot width and all that. Um, so uh, our next step is to start moving some of these lines about. So if we grab uh, the dots individually, so just click once, uh, and then we get our little axis lines. So we've got the three axis lines coming out of there. Um, we will stick with just the green and we'll move that straight out and then just go along grabbing each of the dots and moving them out until we've um, uh, encapsulated that shape. If you just grab uh, the middle of the dot itself as I did just then, um, you can move it in any direction. Um, Alrighty, we'll just do this last one back here. So we can grab hold of it. Cool. So at this point, we've moved the top trim line to encapsulate that. The problem with that is it hasn't added any material underneath the, the collapse. So if we have a look from this view here, there's nothing to support that area. So the best thing to do would be to do the grab these points here of this bottom trim line and just bring them out. Um, if you're unsure, um, as with most of these things, it's always better to go a little bit wider. Uh, you can always grind it down later if you need to. Let's have a look at that. That's a little bit better. All right. The next thing we'll move on to um, uh, is adding cutouts. So quite often you're going to need to do a cutout for a wound or a bony prominence with this kind of feet, um, uh, or most high-risk feet. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll head down to the metatarsal downloads. Um, these aren't constrained to the metatarsal or forefoot area. You can move them anywhere on the foot if you need to. Um, There's a conveniently shaped um, a cut out. So we'll just go M1. Uh, same with anything, we've got that purple cross so we can move it around and position it over the area that, of the foot that we want. Um, we'll just say first method for, for argument's sake on this one. Um, down the center is our, our standard sort of tools. We can change the shape by pressing edit, move it around. Um, in edit, we can also change the depth, which we'll get to in a second. Um, one thing to consider before we move forward is our thickness. So hopefully when you've initially set up the orthotic, you've considered that you're going to be having uh, cutouts under um, an area somewhere and you've made it thick enough. If not, you can always go back and change it. I find four mils generally enough. Um, but once again, if you're unsure, go a bit thick and you can grind it down. We'll stick with four mil for today. Cool. Uh, another thing that we might want to do while we're in the general settings is add some remarks. So we can go fill four foot uh, cut out with pour on, uh, or if you wanted to, or if you only want to glue halfway. Okay. Cool. So if we have a look at this in height view mode, go to the drop down there. We can see it's only dropped down to two millimeters. Um, we can also use the, the scale down the bottom to compare with that. If we want to make that cut out a little bit more um, defined within the material, we can go 
just make it move it a bit central. There we go. Um, we can select one of these outer borders. And we can go add to selection from the tools. We can get multiple ones going here. Select all of them, including the central one if we want to. And then we can right click on any of them. So I'll go right click. And we can add in a height. So I'll go minus um, four, for example. Um, I realize we have a four mil base thickness, but the software always leaves, um, I guess, a one millimeter safety layer. So it'll never, never mill through itself. Okay. And that creates a much more defined edge. So if we move it up to somewhere that's not being impacted by the arch, we can see it's got a lot more of a defined edge. Um, we found in our clinic that this is a pretty effective way of doing it. Um, as it gives, um, I guess, that uh, defined point where you can uh, fill with the pore on, um, but it's also uh, a soft enough curve back out to the the um, other the remaining top layer um, that it doesn't cause any issues with um, butting into it or anything like that with the patient's foot. Cool. Um, the next thing we want to look at um, is uh, some of the materials recommendations. Um, most of you should have, I guess, the, the little um, blocks uh, to get an idea. Um, I don't generally go through this uh, initial training as well, but it, it might be worth revisiting. Uh, if you do need more blocks, get in contact. We can always send out some, some spares. We have a lot of, a lot of scrap material, so we just cut them from that. Um, as a general guide, I guess, the, the in our clinic at any rate, um, we mostly use uh, either 30 Shore, 40 Shore, um, the care uh, and comfort EVAs uh, for for our high risk foot uh, high risk foot patients. Um, the heavier ones, so anyone over sort of a uh, 110 kilograms, uh, we put them on either a performance um, uh, grade 50 shore or a 40 as well, um, depending on how much they walk. Um, the main reason we do it a bit uh, denser uh, is just so it doesn't collapse over time and stop supporting their foot. And we'll generally put a, an alpha gel or um, fairly thick pore and layer over the top of those um, to avoid any breakdowns. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it for um, I guess the, the different tools we can use in Voxicare for high risk feet. Uh, any questions, just get in contact. And uh, thanks a lot for your time. See ya.